Hey everyone, this is Ali and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Fortinet NSE4 exam that I passed recently, how I studied and what materials I used, and uh, some exam tips. So at my current job, I manage the firewalls, the FortiGate firewalls, and my employer offered me the NSE4 training, uh, which was, was a virtual classroom, a uh, five-day classroom. I finished uh, the training and I decided I wanted to study um, the study guides really well and take the exam so that I can get certified. That will give me uh, confidence in managing the firewalls and that will give me uh, just more credibility in doing my job. So I started studying and I thought to myself how hard could this be? I passed Cisco CCNA security before this exam should be easier. But when I, uh, when I got to the sample test, um, I did not do good at all and I did not remember any information. And I did not have any notes when I studied. Uh, so I had to go back, start all over again, take notes, and this time I was able to review those notes and uh, much quicker and go do the sample test. And I did much better. I did it again and again until I passed and then I knew I was ready uh, for the exam. And when you do the exam, when I did the exam, they give you a report, a pass or a fail and, and just uh, a grade bef beside each topic, uh, just a pass or a fail, there's no score. Um, but uh, thankfully I passed all the topics and I passed the exam. I'll show you here on Pearson View uh, dashboard. I'll just go to the exam history. I took the exam on June 5th, 2020. It was canceled before because the testing centers were closed because of the COVID-19 stuff. And um, it was postponed a few times. And I postponed it because I wasn't ready because of, uh, I didn't have any notes and I wasn't uh, remembering any information. So I postponed it. I took, I took some notes, I reviewed well. Because I don't wanna, I don't wanna fail and then uh, do it again. Because if you see the exam, I'm just gonna go pretend I'm uh, registering for an exam. It's the FortiGate 6.2 NSE 46.2, and now you can take it from home or online. And the exam is 400 US dollars. Hopefully you can, uh, your employer can pay for it or you can expense it. And here you have to put uh, your company email or company, uh, the name of the company, your company email address and your personal. But under here, do not put the personal email. I'll tell you why. Put the company email in both boxes because under here when you complete, and this is the this is the NSE Institute uh, dashboard. This is your account. Uh, if you put both company emails in here, uh, um, company email in both boxes, your certificate will be posted really quickly and under completed. I, when I registered, I put uh, my company email and my personal email, so it was not added to my account. And I had to contact uh, Fortinet and they had to add it manually. Uh, but now I can see it under my uh, dashboard. <clears throat> so this is the Institute, the NSE Institute. Right now, all courses are free. The training is free until the end of 2020. So you can literally open an account here, go to the library and pick the course that you want and start studying for the course. When I took the training, I was able to download the PDFs. Uh, I think the free training right now is just uh, videos, but they're basically the same exact uh, material. So I was able to uh, study those uh, PDF files. <clears throat> they're basically two courses, the FortiGate Security and the FortiGate Infrastructure. Security covers this these topics, the NAT and firewall policies and uh, logging certificates and antivirus and VPN, stuff like that. And then FortiGate infrastructure will cover topics such as routing and SD-WAN and virtual domains uh, or virtual firewalls. 
and uh, like high availability and these topics. So under here, uh, they're the same exact topics, but they're video trainings. And you can uh, watch someone, I think, do the labs. You can book it um, and watch the labs. Or you can download virtual machines and build a topology on GNS3 and uh, start practicing. <clears throat> And when I finished, and this is my certificate, it was posted here. Under completed. So I, I contacted them and I told them, why is it not um, posted yet under my account? And they uh, had to do it manually because I didn't put my company email in both fields right here. And once uh, that's done, you'll be able to see the certificate and the Fortinet uh, an SE4 logo, you can put it on your email or wherever you like. And that's basically it. If you are going for this exam, do not underestimate any exam. Uh, just take notes and review those information very well. You just uh, have to uh, be consistent and study all the material. I These are the notes I took. There are a bunch of papers. I did not leave any chapter without uh, without reviewing and without uh, having notes from that chapter. So that was much simpler to review and go over uh, when I finished uh, the courses. And then I took the sample exam maybe three times until I passed it. And um, then I went for the exam and I passed on the first try because um, not everyone's gonna pay $400 or able to pay $400, especially if you're employer is not gonna cover this exam so um, let me know what you think good luck if you like the video please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one